on team as Sandoval goes up against an Orioles lineup that can certainly score a lot of runs and Mike Trout hoping to counteract that with a big day offensively as well as Trout as he usually does signing for autographs for all the kids here watching the Angels play the Orioles and this Angel Ball Club you know we talked a lot about the young core but you see some of the veterans that were standing right there Gooby and they're going to be relied on too especially at the top of the order today Anthony Rendon and Aaron Hicks and, and there's a smile on Anthony Rendon's face right now his hard work he put in both with fielding the baseball with Ron watching Ryan Goins but also swinging the bat he saw some baseballs hit extremely hard in that series against the Dodgers that's good to see from Anthony Rendon and yeah, don't let Rendon's wry smile fool you he has certainly put in the work and he's gotten himself ready for the season and he's impressed Ron Washington so much that he really wanted Rendon to bat first in the lineup today so Rendon will take the first pitch of the 2024 season and we'll see Anthony Rendon in that leadoff spot in a few minutes up against Corbin Burns yeah I mean the, the resilience to be able to see pitches and work counts really well and then you got Nolan Shonawell, who does the same thing. Both of those hitters are very comfortable in the batter's box. Even when it comes down to getting behind with two strikes, they're still going to put the ball in play. Both can go the other way. While it's driving people in both sides of the field, left center, right center. And especially down toward the bottom of the order there as Aaron Hicks is getting ready to take the field as well here in Baltimore, a place where he had some big moments last year. And the Orioles run onto the field here at Camden Yards. Uh, a little bit scattered, not your typical nine men running onto the field because some of the relievers are running off some other reserves are running back into the dugout so not quite as pristine looking as usual but the Orioles do take the field and there's a camera following Gunnar Henderson to shortstop the reigning American League Rookie of the Year at his new position moving over full time to shortstop this year. Today's Angels lineup brought to you by Simpson Chevy. This is the 64th opening day lineup. And the Angels will have Anthony Rendon lead it off. Hicks, who was with the Orioles last year, bat second. Mike Trout is third. Ward, Drury, and Shanoel in the middle. Miguel Sano's Angels debut hitting seventh. Then Ohapi, then Neto, the two young men at the bottom of the order for the Halos. And they will have to climb a mountain today. Corbin Burns is a big horse, and he's on the mound for the Orioles he, for the first time. He has outstanding stuff. Fastball is going to be a firm fastball. 93-97. That's a cut fastball throw quite a bit. His fastball sinker also throw a curveball and a slider occasional changeup. My go to is to have success. Right handers having success against him. 15 home runs allowed to right handed batters last year in a 229 batting average compared to 170 versus lefties. And jump on that first pitch. Got a batting average in an OP OPS of over 870 on that first pitch when you put in play against defense behind Corbin Burns here today. Led by their young shortstop there. Gunnar Henderson playing its shortstop. You got Austin Hayes, Cedric Mullins, Anthony Santander out in right field. Solid player himself. Urias over at third base, but Henderson doing his job there at shortstop. We saw him at third base last year. Mateo Juzzi is shortstop, very athletic over at second base. Mount Castle over at first. And the leader, Rutschman, behind the plate for the Baltimore Orioles. I mentioned Gunnar Henderson. He was the rookie of the year last year, mostly playing third base. Now he moves to shortstop. He'll play there pretty much every day. Last year, setting an Orioles rookie record, breaking Cal Ripken's record for the most extra base hits by an Orioles rookie at 66 extra base hits so he's ready for his sophomore year and we are ready for the beginning of the 2024 baseball season in the U.S. This is the first pitch of the year. The two games were played in Korea between the Dodgers and the Padres. This is the first one stateside as Anthony Rendon digs in against Corbin Burns. Happy opening day as Corbin Burns delivers a strike and the season is here. 95 mile an hour cut fastball. We see a lot of cutters, about 55% of his pitch to cut fastballs. Check swing from Rendon and the first foul ball here at Camden Yards. This place is stuffed here today. These fans very excited to not only welcome the Orioles back after a big year last year, but new ownership for the Baltimore Orioles taking over this week as well. One ball, two strikes on Anthony Rendon. I think we saw a lot over the last few games from Anthony Rendon in that leadoff spot. He's been seeing four or five, sometimes six pitches in that first bat of the game, which is important for the rest of the guys in the lineup. That's the whole point of having him bat leadoff. He'll put a good at bat together. And Ron Washington saying that 
They wanted some more experience at the top of the order. There are a lot of young players here, but that's why we see Rendon, Hicks, Trout, one, two, three. All the young players in the lineup are toward the bottom of the order, at least the ones in there today. No Mickey Moniak, no Joe Adele in the Angels lineup this afternoon. There's ball three. When they key for the game today, we're talking about this team running wild and being aggressive. The wild ones go wild ones with Jesse Murph and Jelly Roll. The wild ones being aggressive going oh, first to third. Jelly Roll. Back. Yes. Terrific. And Dunn tips it into the glove of Rutschman for strike three. So long at bat. Uh, Corbin Burns gets his first strikeout as an Oriole. Yeah, that was as usual with his cutter. With percentage, but it's cut fastball, which is pretty high for a cut fastball. It's under 23% last year with 90 strikeouts. It's the third career opening day start for Corbin Burns. His first two each of the last two seasons with Milwaukee. Didn't pitch all that well in either of them. A 6.30 ERA between the two starts against the Cubs last year and the year before on opening day for Burns. And here's Aaron Hicks back in Baltimore where he had a renaissance in the second half of last year. Burns starts him off with a strike. Hicks from Long Beach with a chance to be playing in his home area. Brandon Hyde, the Orioles manager, basically said Aaron Hicks saved their season last year. Yeah, he was talking glowingly of Aaron Hicks. How important he was for Baltimore last season. Hicks was with the Yankees. He had a long contract there, was having a hard time staying healthy, kind of fell out of favor with the Yankee fan base, and he gets picked up by the Orioles. All of a sudden, it turns around. And the big thing for Aaron Hicks was that he got immediate playing time with the Orioles because Cedric Mullins got hurt. That's what opened the door for the reason why Baltimore even needed an extra outfielder to begin with. And a huge jump in his OPS from that spot there with the Yankees to when he jumped, joined the O's, and he was really, really good for this team last year. Hicks chasing there for strike three. Rutschman gets it down to first, and Corbin Burns has struck out the first two. We threw a changeup followed by a slow curveball. We get a chase from Aaron Hicks. A pretty good bite to that curveball to get a chase out of the zone by Aaron Hicks. Aaron Burns, we talked about it on the pregame show, grew up an Angels fan. So outstanding spin on that curveball. And he'll get some strikeouts with that pitch on occasion, but you know, spin it all over 2,900 RPMs, that's pretty impressive. What it's all about for Burns using that cutter it really changed his life as Mike Trout bats for the first time. A place where he's had a lot of success. Trout has hammered the Orioles over the course of his career. Three hundred sixty eight career home runs for Mike Trout. He has the second highest home run rate ever against the Orioles since they moved to Baltimore, only behind Aaron Judge. He's really worn out Orioles pitching over the years. There's a fly ball to left center field by Trout. Sitting back, Hayes near the wall. That ball is gone! Mike Trout is at the first home run of the season. He takes Corbin Burns deep, and the Angels have a 1-0 start on opening day. What did we talk about in the opening of Trout in this yard? Some magical moments, already a magical moment for Mike Trout. Oh, left center, that's a long, long way out, Trout's found, but here he's pointing up to him already. A swing that was for Trout. 15 home runs for right-handed batters against Corbin Burns last year. Mike Trout now two for three in his career versus Corbin Burns, now with a home run. That is 35 home runs away from 400. <laughs> One-nothing start for the Angels and the batter, Taylor Ward. Pops this one up on the infield. Playable for the first baseman, Mountcastle. That ends the inning, but a hush in Baltimore as Mike Trout announces he's back. He's healthy, and he gets the Angels on the board with a long home run to left center field. It's one nothing. The Angels on top. Mike Trout didn't waste any time as he lifts a home run against Corbin Burns, the fourth career opening day homer for Trout. 
Yeah, well, one at bat into the season, he has a new Angels record. Yeah, what new for Trouty? That's that's a good sign for him. Remember in spring training, we go, oh, he's getting his timing together. Playing going, we mentioned on the pregame show, he said his timing is there. Look at that timing right away, first inning for Trout. Now Patrick Sandoval takes the mound with the lead. Gunnar Henderson, the leadoff batter and shortstop for Baltimore. Henderson had a terrific rookie season. He was the rookie of the year in the American League. And a lot of people believe that Jackson Holiday could be the rookie of the year this year. But he's not here yet. Holiday, the son of great Matt Holiday, has pushed the envelope to have nearly made the team out of camp as a 20 year old. But Holiday starting the season at AAA. He'll play second base when he does get to Baltimore. Overthrow on front shoulder leaking out a little bit too quick for Sandoval. You know the, the butterflies are going at opening day star first batter. Very difficult to slow the game down enough. See if we can battle right back in the count. Three balls and no strikes. And there's ball four. So good base runner is on. Henderson draws a walk. My go to is for Patrick Sandoval to have this solid start here today on opening day. The strike zone command with his fastball and his changeup. That's going to be important for both those pitches. You should definitely get a lot of swing to misses with his changeup slider. Go east to west, both against the lefties and the righty. Get a bunch of punch outs with that pitch also. So now Rutschman batting right handed. Sandoval finds the bottom of the zone, his first strike. Well, last year had 47% ground ball rate. He's able to get a ground ball now and an intro to get two outs now. Rutschman, an all-star last year. He had a huge opening day against the Red Sox last season. Rutschman was five for five last opening day at a home run and four RBIs. Another one of the great opening day performances ever. What Rutschman did against Boston last year that was at Fenway the Orioles are hosting the season opener for the first time since 2018. Sandoval with a check on Henderson at first. That never gets old and they boo with a pickoff throw over the first base. Don't forget the disengagement rule and all that you can only throw the first base a couple of times or step off a couple of times. So settle down. <laughs> Baltimore ran a lot more last year 114 stolen bases as a team. The last few seasons before that they were not running a whole lot. Brandon Hyde has them running. They have two guys that can steal some bags. Well they're a lot younger and a lot more athletic than they have been. Look at Jorge Mateo at the bottom of the order was among the league leaders in steals. Two balls and a strike. Sandoval just misses with that changeup after walking Henderson. He's behind Rutschman. Three and one. Just think fastball down. Get the ball on the ground in an infielder. What a loop at the right field and a good spot for Rutschman. It falls for a hit. Hits with a good arm on his throw to third cut off. Henderson makes it all the way. He knew that one was going to fall in. And Rutschman singles. Baltimore with an early threat. Yeah, Henderson did a real, real nice job reading that. They knew that baseball was going to find that outfield grass. Picks it up right away. Knows it's going to fall in. He's going to be able to go first to third. Aggressive base running. He's in her heart. He knows Aaron Hicks really well. And he knows that strong, accurate throwing arm. He gets in there right away after the walk. Now a little flare into the outfield. And Baltimore Catcher, right back in business 63. after White Shot gives. The Angels lead 1 0. Trout with the first inning homer off Burns. And now the Orioles first and third. Nobody out as Ryan Mountcastle bats. Good candidate for a double play ball. The Angels keep their infield back. Sandoval can get a lot of ground balls. Misses again. Just about everything from Sandoval has been outside the strike zone out of his first 10 pitches. That went a borderline pitch upstairs and get the call, but a lot of pitches out of zone, you don't get those borderline ones. Adrian Johnson, the home plate umpires, that one again borderline, but just a bit up, and it's two balls, no strikes. Yeah, you're not, you don't get those close ones. Again, both of those pitches easily could have been called a strike. He 
keep in mind that drop of the baseball and all of a sudden that pitch timer gets going from 20 to 18 seconds. One thing we saw a, a couple of times in spring training for Patrick Sandoval with that first inning control issues. There's a strike from Sandoval. He was up there as far as walks in the American League last year. He issued the third most in all of the AL, only behind two White Sox pitchers in that category, Dylan Cease and Michael Kopech. Two walks in this inning sandwiched around a blue face hit. So the Orioles have everything they need for a rally. Bases loaded, nobody out, and Barry Enright making a very early trip to the mound. Three batters in as Anthony Santander will bat with the bags full. Well, Logan will hoppy out now, Barry Enright. I think the bottom line is is you just control damage right now. That's the conversation Sandoval is going to get. Well, things extrapolating on Sandoval has always been an issue for him. You look back to last year, he nearly set an Angels record for giving up unearned runs. When everything started to slip, they would slide away. And Sandoval trying to 